Greetings dear Hakama. Today we'll be diving into the world of Gradle-Build Dependencies Management and exploring a powerful feature, Version Catalogs. Get ready to streamline your project dependencies and say goodbye to versioning headaches. Here are some compelling reasons to adopt version catalogs. First, improve readability. Your build scripts become cleaner and easier to understand by separating version declarations from dependency configurations. Second one, reduce duplication. Eliminate the need to repeat versions throughout multiple build script locations. Centralize control. Easily manage and update versions across your entire project from a single source. Lastly, enhance reusability. Share version catalogs across multiple projects for consistent dependency versions. Interesting, right? The cool part is that starting from Android Studio Hedgehog, you have it set up by default on your new project. So what we are going to do today is migrating an old project to use it. old toy app I created months ago and I want to migrate it so that this does not contain any hard-coded dependencies like it has right now so to do that first step is to go into the project level Gradle build file and make sure that the Gradle plugin version is higher than 7.0 so here I can proceed with the migration. To start the migration, first let's open the project view. Now from the root level of our application, let's search for the Gradle folder. Here it is. Then into that Gradle folder, let's create a new file. Let's name it uh, libs.versions.tomr. Then let's validate. Let's add the three sections, which are versions, libraries, I think we have auto conversion already, and plugins will be used. So in these versions, we'll be putting all the all our dependencies versions. In the libraries, we'll be creating the libraries and using the version of the reference the version created in this section same as in the plugins we'll be creating our plugins or we'll be referencing them and using the versions created earlier here in the version section okay let's start from the root the top level the our project level gradle we need to migrate these two plugins uh, actually this is the top level so first we migrate these two plugins so let's first extract the versions we come here we create a new version this is the AGP Android Gradle plugin and that will be the name of the version by convention it's Kamekis as per my readings uh, so second plugin we also extract the version let's not delete but copy it we copy and we also add that one is the Kotlin Gradle version Gradle plugin Gradle plugin so we also paste that version and now since they are, these are plugins so next we go to the plugins let's create these plugins in the catalog versions so we'll be copy we just copy these two ids let's start with this one with the agp one the android gradle plugin one so we come here we call it um android application equals this is object with id equals the plugin id we just copied and the version version reference version.ref 
actually pause with this Android Grado plugin. You see, we have IntelliSense, that's really nice. By the way, we can use hyphen like I did. You can use the point or the underline. That will not change anything on the way we'll be using them. So, second one, the Kotlin one. So, let's copy again. Let's copy this and come here. Create, let's call it Kotlin. And that's our new is what we just copied. Let's paste it here. Paste it here. Yeah. Okay. Now version the red equals Kotlin Radel plugin. Okay. Normally we migrated our we already migrated all our plugins. So let's go and replace everything. Let's remove this. Now we not use ID anymore. We use alias and into that leaves the plugins and then the name of the plugin by replacing the hyphen or the underline by the dot so for example here i have android hyphen application that becomes android dot application right and then apply oh. second one leaves the plugins plugins uh, dot put in this one apply once okay so normally we have our two plugins but we also use them here so let's finish this before synchronizing again our files so alias again leaves dot plugins dot android dot application and alias Loops dot plugins dot Kotlin and then the synchronize. We just replaced uh, our plugins dependencies. Both here, you can see that even this one, the module level one is already fixed yes so that's the first step we did and we are pretty confident that everything went well since the build went well now next one the dependencies when you add the first versions catalog usage you will get these suggestions from the id from android studio suggesting you to replace on some lines so some other ones we have to do manually so here i will just go ahead and click you see that it replaced don't care about this error it's because uh, we did not synchronize yet so it's not aware that there's an entry here that we just created android core and you can see that it's using these two things this is not how we'll be doing manually uh, so this this is like a second way of adding this directly by the module But we can separate this we can actually create here a group Then the group stops there and this one is a name Right This is how we'll be adding our own We have the group We have the name and then we have the version those are the three informations we'll be adding okay so let's move on let's see if we can automatically yes can this one too yes that's really nice
so these ones we will have to do manually uh, since they, they are not automatically changed so let's go ahead and extract them i will do this out loud and then i will speed up the video so that we can move a little bit faster so first before the column here i start the group name this is android x.compose so i will come here do i already have a group android x.compose no but i have android x just put it there below so that it is kind of kind of grouped so i will call this android x Android X compose hyphen compose because and the group share the group is Android X dot compose right just what I copied the name is you can actually see that we have suggestions um, this is Compose bomb. Yeah, let's confirm. Compose bomb, and a version is obviously compose version, uh, which we have to extract. Let's do that. So let's extract the version. Okay. Let's call it compose principles that so now we can come and use it here. We can reference it so we do version dot red equals compose right now that we already replaced we can remove this and use the catalog so we call the leaves dot android x dot compose don't worry about the the error we tackle it later okay from now i will just uh, speed up the video and do uh, replace all this and come back okay this is it everything replaced now let's synchronize if there's no typo we should be good and here we are so uh, all our dependencies are now replaced with catalog entries as you can see now how clean this file is and if we ever want to check if our dependencies are up to date it's now here that we'll be checking it and as you can see here we have a warning that the newer version is available and this is where i'll be doing all the updates and as you can recall this is on the top level of the project so all the modules in the project will be using this same catalog that's really really cool so now we'll be doing the update only once at this level actually so for example let's change this and sync to apply the update and that's it we can now go back to the android view and as you can see the file we just created is will now be listed here under the gradle script so you don't need to go and toggle the the projects the project view again to see it uh, that's really really cool but will our project still work let's check that before leaving a 
as we can see our app still works really well so we did not break anything that's it dear hakama i hope you enjoyed how clean your build scripts are now please don't hesitate to drop a comment for any question or suggestion like the video and subscribe if not yet see you next time